Well, it seems like you have stopped growing, little kitty. I see no difference in your height since the last time we measured you. Oh no! Well, don't worry, little kitty. There's nothing to be sad about. It just means you are an adult now, and from now on, we will call you Big Kitty. <laughs> oh, hello, friends. I'm sure just like little kitty, you two must be worried about your height and wondering why do we stop growing once we become adults. So, in today's episode, let us explore the answer to this vital question that we all relate to, and that is, why do we stop growing? Zoom in. So, why do you stop growing? Let us start from the very essence of life, that is, the cell. Yes, it all begins when one single cell splits into billions of cells and work in harmony to form a complex organism like you. And once you are born as a tiny baby, you continue to develop and grow taller until the completion of puberty when your genetic programming tells you to stop growing further. Yes, it is our genes made of DNA that determines your growth process. But why does it happen? Well, that's because after the end of puberty, your body begins generating estrogens, which is a growth hormone. It is the high concentration of estrogen in the blood that shuts the receptors in the bone and thus stopping you from growing any further. I know a lot of you must be wondering, what is the point of it? Why don't we just keep growing taller? Well, even though it might sound fascinating, it won't be that exciting to keep growing taller ever and ever. And it may cause several issues as it may put a lot of stress on your bones and muscles and can lead to arthritis. One such condition that causes us to grow more than usual is a disorder called gigantism in which a person's arms and legs grow unusually long and the height can exceed more than 8 feet. Gigantism occurs when the pituitary gland makes too much growth hormone due to a tumor on the gland. Another such condition is a chronic disease called acromegaly in which hands, feet and jaw overgrows. The difference between acromegaly and gigantism is that acromegaly occurs in adults typically between the ages of 30 and 50, whereas gigantism develops in childhood. So just be glad with how you look and make the most out of the precious gift we call life. Trivia time! Did you know your height changes all day long? Yes, just like your weight fluctuates throughout the day, your height can too. You're tallest when you wake up and you may be as much as one centimeter shorter by the day's end. That happens because the discs in your spine get compressed from being upright all day. Also, did you know that your height starts to shrink at the age of 40? That's because your spine starts losing water that makes it compress gradually. But the good news is that working on your posture and regular exercise may help counter height loss. So, keep stretching! It's question time! Today's question is, at what age does your height shrink? Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out.
Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.